Shalom. This is Taz Doc from the JMS Los Angeles camp coming back in the truth and the spirit of Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Rakakadash. Hey, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation for the whole flag Akium that's pushing this word in true sincerity. So you can see Nassau took a picture of this free. You know, the brother did a video, a beautiful lesson on it. And Nassau took a picture of what's going on in the heavens and everything and they seem to come across a picture and you know i could imagine how them scientists are say i can't believe this is a discovery <laughs> but at the same time they quivering in fear because you know they have the real real footage you know they just gave us a little blurred out vision of it but brothers that's in the spirit of yahweh basham yahweh shai and of his you know, they know what this is, man. All right. You know, there was many pictures and posters made of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai when he was sitting on the throne. That's what it looks like. Okay. And it is a, and it is, it is a beautiful, you know, we're, 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 we're delighted. We're praising Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai because it shows to tell you that he's coming, he's coming quickly, man. All right. Esau. Edom, the so-called white man reign is about to be over, man. These prophecies need to fulfill first. All right, so let's get this first scripture. This could be a quick lesson, all right? So this is Romans, the 13th chapter, verse 11. And that, knowing the time, that now it is a high time to wake out of sleep. The scripture saying now is a high time to wake out of what? The slumber you in. Your, your mind... That's that's um your mind that's flooded with the American ideal. It's time to wake up out of that garbage, man, and return to your high Basham Yashah. I'm talking to you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native American, Seminole Indians who are the Israelites according to the Bible. It's time to wake up out of the garbage you're infested with and, and return back to the Father because he's coming quickly. He's coming. All right. And Nassau just took a, a picture of this, of what they saw in the heavens, of the heavenly Father. They're not going to say it. Like, they're not going to say that. But brothers that's in the faith and sisters that's in the faith, they know what this image is. Okay? So it's a hard time to wake out of this garbage that you um living in. All right? Mentally. So Romans 13, verse 11. Okay. Um, let's start it again. And that knowing the time that is a high time to wake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than we believe. Salvation for who? The Israelites. What do you think this this Bible and scriptures? What is what 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 do the word gospel means? It means good news. Good news for who? The Israelites, man. Okay, first and foremost, the elect. All right, salvation is nearer than we believe, man. All right. Verse 12, the night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. It's time to take off this worldly mentality and put on the armor of light. What is the armor of light? The armor of light is this, is this word in the scriptures, man. Okay, that's the light. This knowledge is the light. This truth is the light. There's nothing else. There's no other shortcuts. This is it. And, and the Lord sent you um, shepherds to feed you with knowledge, wisdom, un and understanding of his own heart, man. Okay? So, let's get with the next scripture. Because a lot of people still stuck on stupid. These Christians out there are still stuck on stupid and not believing in the record which the Lord gave us. All right? And that record... um. And that record is um, the image of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. People still stuck on thinking that their so-called so white man is God and Jesus Christ. You know, a lot of the Latin people, including you, you Negroes and everything, you all really believe that the Lord is a so-called white man. That's what the churches teach you. But if you see this image right now, it's not. That's not what it's about. Not giving you. Uh, a lot of these images and um, splits and split screen and close up how it looked like. Just remember the movie Thor. 
I'll give you a little example. Thor, who played that watcher of the gate, Idris Elba. He had that armor on. That's what it looks like to me, man. Okay? But uh, let's get with this. So we'll give the scripture. This is 1 John, the 5th chapter, verse 10. He that believeth on the Son of the Most High have the witness in himself. He that believeth not of the Most High have made him a liar. Because he believeth not the record that the Most High gave of his Son. And his record is the scriptures, man. Okay? Let's read it. And in this record that God has given to us eternal life and, a li and this life is his, his Son. And what's the record of the Lord, man? Well, the first one of them is the image of the Lord. Okay? So you can find that in um, Revelation. All right, let's get it out. Let's get it out. We'll do it real quick. This is going to be a quick lesson, man. And it's a beautiful thing what we're seeing, okay? All right, because pretty much soon, every eye is going to see him. All right? So this is Revelation 1 and 13. All right, 1 and 13. And in the midst of the candlesticks, of the seven, in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clove a garment down to the foot. All right, and girt about the past with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were like were white like wool, as white as the snow, and his eyes were as flame as fire, and his feet like unto fine brass. When you go to brass, you go to the Greek word brass meaning bronze, the color of bronze. All right, think of a bronze metal. All right. Then um, as if they were burned in a furnace and his voice as the sound of many waters. The Lord had a deep voice. All right. So as they were burned in his furnace. So it's telling you that the that the who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai, he's really a so-called black man that like you see today, the Negro. OK, from the tribe of Judah. All right. So as you can see in this image right here. Right. There were, I think, around 2007, 2008, 2009, you know, bros were making, pick, you know, edifying posters for our people to identify who the Lord is and the Father. And there was this one image. I couldn't find it, but everybody knows what it is when he was sitting on the throne. So I'm going to read a particular scripture. Okay. So when I saw that image, I think about the, the scripture in Daniel. Okay. Let's get it out. And then I'm going to close it from there. All right. It's a beautiful thing. I'm not going to, I'm going to put one more scripture after this. All right. This is um, Daniel, the seventh chapter, verse nine. And it reads, I beheld till the thrones were cast down and the ancient of days did sit. As you can see, you see the picture, right? <laughs> Whose garment was white as snow. And the hair of his head like the pure wool. So who has hair like pure wool? The so-called Negroes. West Indian and Haitians from the tribe um the tribe of Judea. Alright? But Yahweh Shai is from the tribe of Judah. Okay? So the so-called Negroes have hair like wool. Alright. But what I'm what I'm reading is the is about the heavenly father. And in the book of Daniel, the seventh chapter, verse nine. So let's read again. I beheld to the thrones were cast down and the ancient of days did sit whose garment was white as snow and the hair of his head like the pure wool. His throne was like the fiery flame and his wheels as his burning fire. As you can see, you got chairs there. It's like he's sitting on a throne. You see, you see his face. You see the beard. You see, come on. This is not no game. And you got a lot of Israelites out there do, do not want to mention the name of the Lord and his son. They got a lot of Israelites out there playing games with this word and this truth. What are you going to do when he returns and he faces you, man? Hmm? What are you going to do? You guys are playing too many games. The Lord is going to return and he's going to destroy America, which you trying to plant in America. Makes no sense. But we understand through the scriptures. OK. All right. Some some <laughs> some some are going to be into everlasting shame, man. 
All right. So let's get one more scripture and I'm going to close it out. You know, this this is all praise to Yahweh Bashmishah for even showing us this, man. Okay. This is all through the spirit, you know, to increase our faith. All right. There's no stopping us now. <laughs> all right. So let's get it out. This is Revelation 1, the first chapter, verse 7. All right, verse 7. Let's get it out. Here we go. Revelation, the first chapter, verse 7. And it reads, Behold, he cometh with he cometh with clouds. Them clouds, what you're talking about is talking about the what you ignorantly call UFOs, the chariots, all right? And every eye shall see him. Meaning every kindred, every nation, every person is going to see who 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 everybody gonna see who the Lord is, man. And everybody's gonna be shocked and they're gonna be scared to death, man. Alright? Revelation 1 verse 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. So who pierced the Lord? Who pierced the who pierced the Son of the Most High, Yahweh Shai? The Romans. So guess what? They here right now. They here right now, the ones that pierced them. Edomites, so-called white man, they're here right now. Reincarnation, you better believe it. All right. Um, Every eye shall see him, they, and they also which pierced him, and all the kindreds of the earth shall well because of him. They're going to be afraid to death. They're going to well when they see the Lord, man. Okay. So that Nassau feed that you see, Man, y'all better be praising Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, man, and be in great fear for the ones who like to play games, man. Being y'all better fear, man. The problem with our people, y'all don't fear. Everything is a game to you. Okay, so I just want to do a quick lesson on that, man. So, looking at that image increased my faith even more, even more, and it should do the same for you, brothers and sisters, too, man. Period. All right, so. With that, man, just hope you're edified. Just a little quick lesson, quick video. You know, um, just wanted to press the red button and, and state what I got to say, man. <laughs> so another that, so another video. Shalom.